Many families living in the community of Cohasset had just a few seconds to evacuate from the park fire. Yeah, new at 5.30, Action News Network reporter Matthew Kerr-Wilson shows us one man's story of survival as he recalls basically having to run for his life. I'm old, so I like to take a nap. So I jumped in the bed and took a nap. It's nice, it refreshes me. And the phone rings. And I'd probably been asleep a couple hours. And so uh, it's him and he's like, get out. Get out now, and I'm like, what, what? I'm like, I got some time. I'll gather some stuff up. You got 20 minutes until if if I don't hear from you, then I'm just coming up to get you. For many victims of the park fire, they had only minutes to grab what they held valuable, whether that be photos, family heirlooms, or in Paul's instance, his father's World War II medals. And as I was walking out of my door, which is facing south, there was a giant plume of smoke, and it looked close. And I said, boy, he's not kidding. I'm glad he called. I didn't have fire insurance. I can't afford it. So, uh, yeah. Pretty crazy. First time I've ever really been homeless. Literally. <laughs> physically homeless. Yeah. And I don't want to go live under a bridge. The camp down the street doesn't look too shabby. Yeah, the camp down the street. I'm, uh... And speaking to Paul, I got the sense that he felt the way many people feel in this community that have been affected by the park fire. That sentiment is that nothing will ever be the same. I mean, you know, it's just what happened. I mean, I'm going to miss all my friends and I'm going to miss my home. In the end, Paul is grateful. He's grateful for what he still has and he's grateful for his best friend, his son. And his son is just happy his father, his best friend, is still here. For Action News Now, I'm Matthew Kerr-Wilson. If you want to help park fire survivors, we do have a story on our Action News Now homepage with a list of all these different organizations that are just going above and beyond to make sure that people have resources that they need. There are plenty to choose from, so go check it out if you're interested. And we do know so far that at least 194 structures have been destroyed by the park fire.